A third of South Africa's food waste ends up in landfill. CSIR experts in advanced agriculture and food research have partnered with the United Nations Development Programme to create a solution that maximizes the value of waste created at fresh fruit markets across the country. The UNDP has a program on looking what's called the circular economy. In a circular economy, it means you want to use all the materials, reuse them in the process, generating very, very little waste. So if you are producing something and so on, you are, if you are using it to produce waste, instead of it being waste, what value can you extract from that material? So in this case, we are looking at food waste. The UN is concerned about food waste. We know that we generate a lot of food waste uh, in the country, actually worldwide and so on. Yet we know that many people go to bed hungry and so on because there's no food. Yet we are throwing away all this, uh, waste, uh, this uh, waste material for food. Now the question is, what value can we extract from that food waste material? Researchers have developed a three-pronged approach to maximize the value of waste. Firstly, convert the waste into biomethane that can be harvested for energy use in households. My project concerned was taking this food waste, convert it into biogas. Biogas can be used as a heat source or for, say, for cooking materials at home. Instead of using electricity and so on, you can substitute that with the biogas material. So in this case now we're taking this food waste, studying is, is it efficient to convert this into biogas and then from there we from this, we did our test and from our test, we found that taking this food waste, mixing it with the cow dung, it produces high grade biogas, which can then be collected now and used for cooking and for heating and so on in the households. Secondly, convert waste into high quality compost using the Bokashi process, where spoiled fruit and vegetables from the fruit market enzymes by putting them into a bucket and sealing them for a minimum of six weeks. During this time, fermentation takes place and generates concentrated nutrients in the soil, thus replacing current chemical-based fertilizers. And we're looking at how to help small farmers use technologies. For example, in this particular project, we are trying to use uh, waste from uh, municipalities, food waste, to see how we could convert it to high value organic manure. And a lot of waste that we are having in, 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 in South Africa, I mean, we can, it's almost uh, 40,000 tons of waste that we have. So how, how can we convert this waste into value for people to use? So we looked around the area, which is Nkoma's area. What are the major crops that people plant in their gardens? learned a lot from that and also the optics how when they produce the crops how can they sell it so the lady the entrepreneur that we are working Tandiwe she has already offtake agreements with the shops around here so that you produce your crops it can always also go to the market some income from from this particular project how to get your seedlings how to uh, do the agronomic practices how to apply the manure all of that, those are some of the lessons that we learned. So rollout will be very easy when we go to different provinces. The third approach to making the most of waste is to transfer the technologies to an SMME. Um, my journey as a farmer uh, started when I was growing up. Uh, my mom used to farm millies, uh, matumbe, uh, sweet potatoes uh, for us to, to, to eat. So uh, I, I loved farming growing up and when I started even studying, uh, I, I did chemical engineering but still continued to farm uh, where I'm staying, uh, like small patches of, of green pepper there and there. And when COVID happens and then uh, I, I didn't have any much of an income, come back home and then I started farming um, the small patch of um, vegetables just for me to feed my, my, my family, like spinach, uh, green pepper and onions. And then I saw, oh, this is really good as compared to having uh, the, the mealies, like large portions of mealies and amadume, but this is growing much faster and I'm able to eat it every now and then. Every day I can have spinach, every day I can pick up green pepper. 
so I don't have to wait much longer. And then I started growing and growing like much bigger. And then when I saw that I'm, whatever that I'm consuming now, it's enough. And other people are coming and passing by and say, can you sell me spinach? Can you sell me uh, green pepper or, or chilies? And I, okay, this is good. All right. And then I started growing and, and then I, I collected manure, more manure now from, from the community because I'm using cow manure as well as goat manure. There's also another lady giving me chicken manure because I need as much more manure as possible to, to boost the, the soil at home. Then I started growing. And then I started selling to the community and there is a, a Facebook page within the community where and then I started promoting what I'm, I'm doing and they loved it. So then from there on when I, I, I was part of CSR as a bursa and then they saw what I'm doing as a, fa as a farmer then you, you, they got excited and they said how about to integrate then because we're a chemical engineer our, our job as chemical engineers is to convert raw materials into ching ching. So how about then we use this, like you as then you're already selling your vegetables. Then you grow more, but instead of using cow manure, how about you use bokashi? And then, then the journey started. The successful pilot project has empowered the entrepreneur to produce organic manure and biogas using the CSIR developed approach and set the tone as a demonstrator of the CSIR rollout to other communities.